Hello Pisces, this is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Piscean, Piscean individuals, but I'm hoping to reach the masses. But this is for Pisces, December 2018, Full Celtic Cross, Comprehensive. Pisces, December 2018, Full Celtic Cross. For the masses, for the general population, the general energy is coming in for Pisces, December 2018. We'll see what the beginning energies are. As you know, Mars is ha has entered your sign. They'll leave you be able to defend yourself more than usual. Give you more energy for work, passion, all kind of things Mars brings. But sometimes it brings arguments, but sometimes you need to be able to take up for yourself. Income and energy, the lovers in reverse. This could have to do with a partner you'll be dealing with in the beginning energy. Thinking about them, wondering sometimes. Because we also got Mer Mercury in retrograde here. It does that. Communications could be off also. But we will find out more. Seems like the stalker card for all the signs. Seven of Cups in reverse. Not liking what's offered to you and may not accept anything. <clears throat> Seven of Cups in reverse is, is just not making uh, foolish choices. And it's also about, like I said, things coming towards you with offers. And you may just turn everything down. You may think that they're not good for you. What's crossing it? Queen of Cups. This could be you. Pondering, wondering. Queen of Cups, as you know, is a water energy or someone taking on an energy. Could be, like I said, you or another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Your goal, with what crowns you, is you're waiting around for something. What are you waiting for, Pisces? Foundation, some strife, some arguments. It's like you're just, I don't know, sort of like you're waiting around for something else. That's why you're not taking some of these offers or you're not taking them anything seriously. In the past, something may have gotten cut out, or you spoke your truth. You spoke up. Ace of Swords is a good card. Maybe some of you are already going to use that Mars energy. That does appear to be that. But also remember, your goal is still like you're stagnant, waiting around for something. But something may pull you away from that and not let you stand or wait around. There is strife there. There are arguments as the foundation. Sort of likes what's causing a lot of this. Near future, you will get some happiness. You may get a wish. Pisces always seem to get wishes. Sometimes they just never use them. They let them pass it by. I'm going to lay these four out because this is like the distant future. Try to get this where it looks halfway decent without me being all jittery. I drink way too much coffee and the medications I'm on are terrible sometimes. But I'm getting better. Seven of Cups. Let's go back to the beginning. Seven of Cups with the Queen of Cups crossing it. Why is that there? For Pisces. Come on now. Someone from the past. It always is. Six of Cups. Thinking about the past too much. That's the Six of Cups in the upright. It's past situations totally it's about thinking too much about the past sometimes about someone coming back from the past waiting for someone from the past because remember you got that what crowns you the goal in some way maybe something got cut out before but can i get another card for this seven of cups in reverse the queen of cups and the six of cups you do get a wish so let's we'll wait for that has to do with stability too. Something that was stable from the past. Maybe you thought it was stable. Or maybe you're waiting for stability with the Ten of Pentacles. Could be. I want to see why you're hanging around. 
The hangman, why are you there? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Maybe you're waiting for better things. Getting something. Yeah, you're deciding. You're deciding what to do with the adjustment card. Making sound judgments. Making sure things are just and upright in your life. Maybe you're just holding back a little, huh? Because change is coming. You're wanting change. You're waiting for change and better things to come your way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Foundation, you have some strife. Sort of like competition sometimes. With the, with the strife card, I see it as competition in some ways. But it's like embattlement. Can I see why that is there for Pisces? The Five of Wands. Stabs, whatever you want to call them. Breaking free, coming out, coming out of feeling trapped. You might this might this strife that was that was brought to the surface. It happened because someone wanted to break free from a trap situation with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Can I get another card? The Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords in reverse. And you just wanted to avoid a tower moment. You don't like things coming crashing down on you. And I have a feeling some of you will speak up. Maybe not all of you, but a few of you are going to speak up. Because you don't like that being bad and not be able to say anything. And you're going to, I, I do believe some of you are going to take, really take up for yourselves because the tower is in reverse. You're trying to stop a negative situation. And, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. The tower in reverse is avoiding a negative situation, usually. Now you got the Ace of Swords <clears throat> in the upright as the past. Ace of Swords, why are you there? For Pisces, in the past. Ace of Swords, why are you there in the past? Queen of Wands could have something to do with a fire energy or someone taking on energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But when I see this, it's either... Some people say it's a Leo, others say it's an Aries. But they're in the upright. You may have spoken your truth to this person, or they may have spoken their truth to you. Yeah, someone didn't want to offer a passionate new beginning, whether you did this or they did this. And the truth came out, and there was some strife. It could, like I said, have to do with someone in the past and, and money. You wouldn't change. You're waiting for someone to change. Making sound judgments, just judgments. But in the near future, you have the Nine of Cups, which is like the wish card. Even though that's kind of putting that out there a little bit too much as a wish. Sometimes it is a wish. For a few of you, you'll get a wish. Others will just be more happier in the near future. But the Nine of Cups, why are you there for Pisces in the near future? Ooh, celebrations. Three of Cups, you're going to be celebrating, having fun, be happy. Maybe celebrating a wish you got. Just celebrating in general with more than one person. Usually it's a family kind of event or with friends. Can I get another card for abundance? It's called the abundance card. Oops, I'm just trying to pop out. It's going to bring you more balance, make you feel things are comfortable for you. That's in the near future. Now remember, we still got the distant future. So it looks like that Mars energy is helping you. Now, this is a possible future outcome or the advice card. You got the princess of this in reverse. This could be an earth element or someone taking on that energy. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They are in reverse. I need another card. Just know this person or this energy is in reverse. Why are you there? Strife in reverse. Could be the universe telling you don't even battle with this person. Don't even argue, or this person shouldn't argue with you. 
Yeah, because you're going to bring an end to a situation if you don't get this situation under control or they don't get the situation under control. If you're wanting this to happen, you're wanting to end this with this person, it is going to end. If you don't want this to happen, then change it. You have that power because this is something that could be or could not be, okay? So it's up to you. You can cut out this person or they, they'll make, they, they can cut out you, but this is the advice for you. Is stop the arguments because if you don't, it's going to put an end to this situation. What is coming towards you is growth and beauty. For some of you, even a pregnancy. Just a few of you. Don't flip out. But the Empress is a beautiful card in the Uprights Blessings. It's growth, it's tradition. Can I get another card for the Empress card in the Upright? Something attached to this King of Knight of Cups in reverse. Now it's bringing blessings. Why? Because this Knight of Cups is in reverse. This could be you. Blessings are coming towards you. Because in the past, the why, I should say, I hate to say the past because we already did the past, but it is part of the past. Because something was turned around, this could be your energy because it is Cups energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's a night. I'm thinking the universe is bringing you some blessings because you didn't always get it. And we already saw that. Can I get another card? For the Empress and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Oops. And things will come out. Things will come out. You may break free. But the Seven of Swords, oftentimes it is breaking free. Remember, these two are the Y cards. This is the main energy coming in. Why? Because before, things weren't coming in before the way you want it. Good things did not come to you. And now, they may break free. You may break free of something. Find out something. Things are coming forth, and now knowledge is exposed to you. Now, your hopes and fears. Seven of Swords. You're afraid of that Swords energy? That's been, like, stalking also a lot of the signs lately. Seven of Swords, why are you there? It's sneaky behavior, underhanded behaviors, fearing this. Things possibly coming out. Because you're just wanting some, you're happily ever after. So I'm seeing this as a mix of your fears and hopes. You're afraid of things coming out, but you're at the same time wanting your happily ever after. You're just wanting to be happy, and there's nothing wrong with that. With the Queen of Discs in reverse, you fear this Queen of Discs in reverse. Remember, you have the princes of this down here. Either you're afraid something's going to come out, or they're afraid something's going to come out. But this is a fear card, the Seven of Swords. But you're striving for the happiness, but you got this Queen of Discs there, this, this Earth element. And as I said, it's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. A lot of, a lot of you know... the energies that I'm getting. Hmm. You can leave in the comments. What are you fearing? What are you hoping for? And why is that queen of disc there? And why is the princess of disc there? Reverse. <clears throat> Final distant outcome. Ace of disc. You're not going to send someone an offer. I don't think it's related to the near future. I think this is something else with this situation. You're not ex extending an offer stable offer to somebody or someone's not offering it to you. I think these are two different situations. Ace of Disc in reverse while you're there. Is there a reason this this is there? Something to do with work. Maybe you're getting a different wish and you may be turning something down in the long run because of this other wish coming in. Abundance coming in. You may be taking a total different direction for some of you. You may be turning something down that you don't want to collaborate with, work with. Princess of Swords, someone taking on that energy, or it could be an air sign. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, in reverse. Princess of Swords is, may not be happy with you if you turn this down. Or you may not be happy if they're, tur if, if they're turning you down. It goes either or way. Remember, I'm dealing with a lot of people here. But something's going to get turned down in collaboration. And it has to do with, with someone taking on an air energy. 
or an air sign. And they're not going to be happy about that. Something is, is not going to be happy about a work collaboration. And they say, I don't want to work with this. And it could be, like I said, because you are afraid of sneaky behavior, unhanded behaviors, and you are going to put a stop to something. But you got something else good coming in in the near future, and it could be a reason why you may go a different direction. Things are just, you're just going to go with something else. I have that feeling. Because as a foundation, you're going to, you're thinking you're going to avoid a tower situation. Something else good is coming in. You are thinking about the past too much. You are. Something got cut out there, too. And you're hanging around, like I said, for something, but for change. For doing other things. And something really good comes in. But I think it's going to cause you to to end something, maybe a job, or just whatever is predominant in your life. It has like a do with things coming out that you don't like and new blessings are coming in. Yeah, I think you're going to put something that, like I said, that you just don't care for, that you think is no good for you, which now makes sense with the Seven of Cups in reverse, offers you don't like. So I think something else, like I said, is coming in. Because like I said, you got a wish or a blessing or something you really makes you happy. Brings abundance and stability or makes you feel whole again. It's a blessing. Because things weren't always a blessing f before. So maybe the universe is, is taking care of you. In the end, you got the Four of Swords. That you may be blocking some people or just taking a break, you know. Maybe going, some of you may be actually celebrating something elsewhere, taking a break somewhere, resting, recuperating, getting your strength back up. Four of Swords is about getting well again. Gaining, just, you know, putting things from you for right now. And like I said, I have, to, I have a feeling a lot of you or something good is coming in. I shouldn't say a lot. For, for the masses that I'm trying to reach, I do see blessings coming in. But you're also, like I said, getting rid of the uck in your life. The, the nasty. Okay? And it could be that it could have something to do with the past. Maybe the blessings. Because the Six of Cups is in the upright. And I hate to drone on like this. But I see a lot of mixture here. Where... Things weren't so good. Then you get your blessings and you drop other thing, other other negative things because I see it as two different situations also. Like I said, taking a break from the uck and enjoying your blessings that are coming in. And that is your reading, Pisces, and that's it. And I will give you another reading, hopefully before the middle of December, to see if we can get another energy, the secondary energies. Talk to you later. Bye.